from Alabaster. What's your take on cooperative food hubs, uh, farmer owners, members from selling directly to customers? I've heard you talk about selling through a food hub. So what I was talking about was selling through an aggregator. It's different than a food hub. Food hubs are typically nonprofits, at least in my experience, when they're called that. Um, but we're talking about an aggregator here, a distributor, that kind of business model. Um, They're restricting its farmers. I'm just trying to think like, what are you actually asking? Because I might have answered this wrong in the first place. Um, what do I think of these food hubs? I mean, I don't like the nonprofit ones, to be honest, because I've seen them flake out on a number of people that I know who um, were selling product and uh, had a commitment from them to buy this much product. They planted in the field and then they left them high and dry. The problem with nonprofits is they're, they're not predictable in uh, the free market because they're not dependent on sales. It, when a business is dependent on sales, it's easy to see if they're doing well. Can you see them doing a lot of sales? It comes down to that. Whereas a business that isn't dependent on doing sales, you don't know because they're probably not telling you uh, at every given moment what funding has come in and what hasn't. And so you don't get a real time uh, feedback loop of how well they're doing. And so in my opinion, this is why a lot of them, well, not why, but it's how a lot of them fail and people were very surprised when they fail. Um, whereas if a business is failing, you're seeing it happen in real time because they're, they're not doing well. They're not, they're, they're closing more often. They're, they can't hold staff, you know, whatever the things are, you can see these things and you can predict on how well they'll do. And so I don't like nonprofits for that reason. Or that's one of the reasons I don't like nonprofits. Um, and some do some of them uh, require to just do only wholesale to them. Some of them do, but I would never sell to a business that did that. That sucks. Um, if somebody's going to make that demand on you. Um, I mean, I would say if, if, if somebody's going to make a demand on you like that, I would say, Sure, but you got to pay for 50% of that said product now. 